Making a game in 12 hours is not that tough. People do it all the time. But what is really tough is making a game in 12 hours that doesn't suck. I wanted to try this challenge out for myself, but I also wanted to make something that was kind of decent. So I resorted to the oldest trick in the book. I just stole everything. From the art, to the music, to the game's design, down to the code itself. Everything that's in this game, I took from someone or somewhere else. But isn't that unethical? Is that even legal? Well, the truth is that a lot of what I've done here is actually pretty standard in the gaming industry. But some of it definitely does start to fall into a gray zone. So in this video, we're gonna talk about all the stuff I borrowed, all the stuff I stole, and the stuff that might send me to jail. So the game that I made is called The Witchcraft, and you play as an astronaut witch piloting a raven-themed spacecraft. You know, the witchcraft. Your goal in the game is just to survive as long as possible without crashing into a barrier or falling off the stage. Now, when I said that I didn't want this game to suck, I know that's a very subjective term. A lot of you are probably gonna look at this game and think, wow, that is a heaping pile of garbage. Which, that's fair. I made it in 12 hours. But it's a totally finished game that's kind of fun to play, so let's talk about where I got those assets from. Let's start with the easy stuff. Music, sound effects, and artwork. There aren't a lot of game developers out there who have the time and skill to develop all this stuff on their own, so most of them do end up licensing at least some stuff from others. So for this game, I got my music from Pixabay, my sound effects from freesound.org, my spaceship design and environments from Freepik, and even the text effect for my title was a purchased template. And you might have noticed, that's not actually stealing. Stuffing your game full of pre-made assets might be kind of tacky, because the objects in the stores are trash. But it's definitely not unethical. So let's talk about something a little sketchier. Let's talk about AI-generated images. For the title screen of my game, I wanted there to be a picture of the protagonist, just to give some context for the action of the game. But astronaut witches are in pretty short supply on Freepik, so instead I turned to the Midjourney AI Image Generator. I'm not going to do a deep dive on the ethics of AI images, but basically how the program works is it references other people's images without their permission and then creates a new one based on those references. And this is obviously not cool for a lot of artists, especially as they start to lose business and clients to the tools that are referencing their artwork in the first place. And for now, it's still legal to use these images in commercial projects, but it does feel pretty scummy to me. It's definitely not something that I'll be using moving forward, but I guess for this 12-hour hackathon project, it's a good way to get a witch. And by the way, if any of you are still worried about me profiting based on somebody else's work, trust me, I don't profit off these videos. So now I have all the assets for my game, but I still haven't mentioned the biggest piece of theft in this whole project. Some of you might have already noticed this, but this entire project is a huge ripoff of Robot Unicorn Attack. The physics, the mechanics, the gameplay loop, it's almost an exact copy of an existing game. Experimenting with new game mechanics takes a long time, so if you want something that's going to be functional right out of the gate, your best bet is to steal something that already works. And the craziest part about that is that it's not even illegal. Honestly, that's probably the most common form of theft in the gaming industry. Look at how Fortnite or Call of Duty just stole PUBG. Or look at the swarm of Vampire Survivors clones that came out the moment that game blew up. Like seriously, Survivor.io was released before Vampire Survivors even got its official release. How are you ripping off a game that's not even out yet? Under US copyright law, you can protect characters and franchises and story, but game mechanics are pretty much fair game. But don't get me wrong, that is a very good thing. Like, imagine if Nintendo had the copyright on platformer games and nobody else was allowed to make them. Or imagine if EA was the only one allowed to make sports games. So much of the rapid development that's occurred in the gaming space is from people taking a good game and then saying, but what if I added this? What if I took this and then made it this? It's just an unfortunate downside to that freedom that we end up with games like Survivor. Io. <sighs> Please go buy Vampire Survivors. Okay, so take all of those stolen pieces, put them all together, and that is the witchcraft. An entire game made in 12 hours out of completely stolen pieces. If you want to give this game a shot, it is available on my website, for free, obviously. And if you want to play an even better game that's pretty similar, just go play Robot Unicorn Attack, also free. Thanks so much for watching, this was fun. Remember, stealing is bad, don't do it, and I will see you around next time. Bye.